Hey, pretty baby with the high heels on. You give me fever like I've never ever known. You're just a product of my loveliness. I like the groove of your walk, your talk, your dress. You'll have to look hard and long to find a song about young love that hits harder than The Way You Make Me Feel by Michael Jackson. This song captures the raw passion of a young man yet to come into his financial own, smitten by a woman of similar age. It's a song about a man expressing his energy of love for a woman he cannot afford yet. Even in the cover, you can feel the energy of this song. I feel you fever from miles around. I pick you up in my car and we'll be the town. You give me, baby, and tell me twice that you're the one for me, the way you're making me feel. I just got back from the gym. I walked home. It's almost 11, it's 10 50 exactly. And I was thinking on my walk, obviously live tweeting on my story because I don't have a journal. Um, about self-defense. You're not me, y'all, but my feet now, baby. <laughs> my lonely days are gone. As someone who has experienced young love and watching the saga play out of Aoki Lee Simmons, I can all but assure you that there was a young man somewhere in her past, if not several young men, that looked at her across the classroom and felt the energy that Michael Jackson felt when singing The Way You Make Me Feel. As powerful a young love song as that is, if you are a fan of Star Wars, you know a young love song that is even more powerful and quite possibly a feeling a man her age felt when looking across the classroom at Aoki. This is the biggest mistake women make and men take advantage of. Watching this will prevent you from doing something you will regret for the rest of your life. Taylor is a stunning and smart young woman who is happily in a relationship with Jake, being the catch that she has men after her left and right. The captain of the football team wants her. The finance bros are after her. She could have any successful and good-looking man that she wanted, but she chooses to stay with her boyfriend. She firmly believes that while he hasn't reached his full potential yet, he eventually will. Despite the heavy contrast in success, they both believe in what they have and love each other. They want to stay together for a long time. They both understand that he is reaching and she is settling. It is obvious that she is the catch and he is good for nothing. A brief look at the comments underneath this TikTok show how dire straits young love is actually in in the modern West. It preys on a Western woman's worst fear, being loyal to a quote unquote lesser man that ultimately leaves you. A man is not a plan, the first commenter says. Another, never fall in love with potential, suggesting the only thing worth committing to is a sure thing. Yet another comment that got almost 2,000 likes. That's why we believe in Sprinkle Sprinkle, all mirroring the final conclusion of this modern love horror story. He is now the successful boss who yells at the interns and all the secretaries want. He bought the luxurious car he wanted and not the big car the family needed. He stays in shape and is now the older man with money all the younger women want. They both know that she is now the reacher and he is the settler. And since he knows he can get someone younger and better looking, he leaves her and their child. If you don't raise my budget, I'm really your sugar daddy. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What did you say? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have... Sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? <laughs> of course you are, right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go. I don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell arms. I'm gonna sell. But you're not gonna do any of that. You're just gonna raise your budget. Your budget's. Fine. I'm gonna be an ambassador for the meat industry. 
God is watching you. He hears you. I mean, that means your higher self hears you. You know what the he said is bad. You're not going to do that. You just talk. As Alki Simmons, 21, dates a man 44 years her senior, social media champions her getting the bag. And although it is very possible that she has met the love of her life, what is more likely is that in the pursuit of getting the bag, she has sacrificed something that she will never be able to experience or get again. The true innocence of falling in love with a peer and experiencing the milestones of life, the ups and downs of purchasing a home, birthing a child, having a first family trip, and experiencing the growing pains of young adulthood, all may have been sacrificed in the pursuit of the bag. Somewhere there's a young man that looked across the room at this young woman and saw the apple of his eye. But as he watches the modern dating environment champion her for forsaking the risk of young love and building together for the sure thing that is getting the bag with an older man, he can only look at her and feel what it cost not only him, but her as well. Some might see this video as condemning the decision that Alki Simmons made. Some might see it as an I told you so video, or one telling guys to get their passports and go overseas. But a deeper look into the romance that Alki Simmons chose speaks to a larger point that is affecting not just her relationship, but the relationship of young people and specifically young men all across the West. For the young man that sat next to her in her college or high school class that may have dreamt of marrying her, the lesson he learns here is a simple one. Into your rich and successful, you are nothing. The message that the average man sees when watching this story is that there is no love until after you navigate the difficulties of life as a single man. This is the narrative that runs counter to the love stories that both Michael Jackson and John Williams made songs about. After years of hearing Disney stories that made men believe that they were worthy of love before they found success, what stories like these of Alki Simmons tells us, and men specifically, is that the love stories we grew up on are outdated, and that the new version of love is one that is bought and paid for. And this only means, as a man, it is your duty to find the best place to purchase it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment below. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.